President Biden has warned Israel that there are no excuses for not allowing more aid into Gaza. The U.S. military has released more footage tonight of another humanitarian aid drop in Gaza, 60 bundles of food, which they say provide more than 36,000 meals. The United States says a quarter of the population is now close to famine. Our senior international correspondent Orla Girin has sent this report from the Israel-Egypt border, a warning it contains upsetting images. Sometimes war kills slowly and quietly. Hunger attacking the tiniest bodies. The Al-Adwa Health Centre in Rafa is filling up with malnourished infants, like Ahmed, who has lost half his body weight during the war. Children who survive the bombings may not survive famine. But here in Israel, some blocking a border crossing today. Family groups with their babes in arms, determined to stop aid that is desperately needed by families in Gaza. They pushed past border police, as they do twice a week. Among the protesters, Yael Sabriago, who had to hide from Hamas on October 7th and who has a loved one trapped in Gaza. <laughs> this is my uncle Lior Rudayev, she says. He's been a hostage for 151 days. He's got a heart condition. He hasn't had any medication for 151 days. Why aren't the hostages getting humanitarian aid? The commander says, I'm opening the border today. Not today, says the protest organizer, Reut Ben Haim. And for a few hours, they halt the aid effort, limited as it is. This is turning into a confrontation now. The border police are threatening to drag the protesters away. They've been telling them they have to move, that they can't stay here. But the protesters are determined they don't want a single aid truck to get through to Gaza. You are a mother with a young baby in your arms. Do you feel any concern for the plight of the mothers and children in Gaza? Because the UN is warning they could starve without more aid. They can get all the aid they want, release the hostages, and they will get all the aid, everything, on condition that the hostages will be released. But the ordinary people of Gaza aren't in a position to release the hostages, and, and yet you're blocking the aid that could save their lives. I have real sympathy for the civilians in Gaza, but the ones who are hurting them is Hamas. Any truck that goes by will not reach civilians. Back in Rafa, aid did not reach 12-year-old Yazan Al-Kafarna, who had cerebral palsy and needed good nutrition. Here's how he looked before the ravages of war, before his family had only scraps to feed him. His mother says he used to eat and move and laugh and play. Yesterday, Yazan died from malnutrition. Orlegir BBC News at the Israeli border.